Hey guys, I'm back out in the shop today and I'm working on uh, trying to get organized. And today, so what I thought I'd work on today was some AXA tool holders. And let me show you what we got. I wanted a place to be able to put all of my tool holders. As you can see, I've started to collect uh, quite a few and I really just didn't have a place to put them and keep them organized. Uh, another thing that I wanted to do was I don't want to have to be reaching up here every time uh, I'm running a job. So what I thought I would do is I added some down here and then that way I can just whatever job I'm working on they'll be uh, real convenient for me to grab and then I can have a place to put them. I was just kind of sitting them around everywhere but this way I could put if I have uh, several things going on where I'm doing different I can just lay them right here and then they'll be real accessible. So so that's what I worked on today. I made 16 and I'm going to use, I need 11 for the tools that I currently have. And I'm sure I'll add some more in the future, but. So all you have to do is go to Char's website and print out their, they have a drawing for the AXA tool holders. They also have one for the BXA and you can get the dimensions. And let me show you how I made these. What the material I'm use, I used for my holders is just some remnants from kitchen countersink cutouts. And this is some sealstone, corian, that type material. Uh, Man-made countertops. It's perfect. It's a half inch thick. And you can pick this up usually for free. Just do a search in your area for individuals that install countertops and give them a call and ask them if they have any uh, sink cutouts and usually they'll just give it to you for free pick up a few because you, you'll find uh, several uses for this it's a nice flat surface uh, you can use it for uh, sanding or, or if you need any kind of flat surface they're great for uh, TTS tool holders you could use it for those as well so I went so to the Char's website and downloaded their dimensions for their AXA tool holders and so all I'm going to do is just rip some strips with this 60 degree angle on there and put a couple holes in it and it should be good so let's get started I'm going to be using my table saw for this it's the most efficient tool for the job uh, if you don't have a table saw, you can, uh, of course, you could mill these out if you wanted. But I think for this particular job, a table saw is going to be uh, the best tool for the job. So what I did first was I set my protractor here to 30 degrees, uh, which leaves me 60. And I set my blade up and made sure that it was 30 degrees. And then I'm just going to rip some strips. All right, so let me get everything set up and we'll get started doing that. Okay, well, I've got it set up and uh, this is some dusty stuff, but you can see the angle here and it's 30 degrees would be good. And then now I'm just going to rip the other angle and uh, should be good. This is some dirty, nasty stuff. So I'm going to be using a dust mask.
you end up with something like that and then that's all you really need so I'm gonna cut these I'll cut these three inch strips I should get four out of each piece I'm gonna go ahead and rip the rest of them because I need 12 okay now that we've got them all ripped we just need to cut them off about three inches three inch height I'll just make me a little mark here, slide it over, cut in three inches. like so and then now we just need to drill a couple of holes and countersink it so that we can bolt it to the wall okay so we got all our pieces cut and uh, I ended up with 16 I made I need 12 so I have four extra and I just put a fence here I'm gonna drill a hole in the middle this is a 3 16 inch bit so I just put a couple of marks to indicate where I want my holes to be one here and then one here. Uh, it doesn't have to be critical. This is just for a uh, drywall screw, just to hold the holder. This is some dusty stuff, but just drill a couple holes. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest of them. Okay, so now that I have the holes drilled, I'm just going to take a countersink and just countersink the holes. Like so. Just using a drill and a hand countersink, nothing fancy. And then that way I can shoot a drywall screw through there, secure it to the wall. All right, so now I'm gonna countersink the rest of the holes. Now that we've got the holes countersunk, the next thing I wanna do is just kinda bevel the ends knock these sharp corners down and uh, that's it then you're done now if you have a belt sander this will be easy but since I don't uh, I just have a orbital sander I'm going to use that to knock these corners off with okay so I decided to go ahead and also make some for my OXO tool holders for my mini lathe. 
and now I've got those hung up and out of the way so that works out good so there you have it thanks for watching the video please subscribe to the YouTube channel thumbs up if you like the video and most importantly be safe